Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nikkei Sun Yian 12th Annual Culture Night. Thank you for making time out of your day to come and support our Culture Night Okaidi. On behalf of all of the students of NSU, your support is incredibly meaningful to us. The Nikkei Student Union is a student organization that embodies what it means to build a community on campus. It's where many people such as myself build lifelong connections and become educated on what it means to be a Nikkei along with all of the Japanese culture and history that comes with it. As a non-Japanese student, I am incredibly honored to represent this club along with my co-president. This has been a tough year for many of us, but I am proud of our Culture Night coordinator, Jeremy Haviana, and all of the other people that made this virtual Culture Night possible despite all odds. Similarly, Okaidi is a story about two students that are culturally different, yet also come together to help each other despite facing some tough times. Throughout the last couple of months, there are many doubts that lapsed through my mind on whether or not a virtual Culture Night would be plausible since there has never once been a situation quite like the one we faced in the past year. However, through seeing our Culture Night coordinator's passion and the amount of dedication of our actors and committee members, I realized that there is no possibility of this Culture Night being anything less than spectacular. Spending countless nights on Zoom after long hours of virtual education and seeing them slowly develop into their characters was enough to show me how much heart that they truly put into this Culture Night. This culture night would have not been possible without the hard work of our culture night coordinator, our committee members, and our board members. I would also like to thank Tozan Taiko and the other acts that are performing tonight for adding another aspect of Japanese culture. I hope through watching this play, you see the aspects of cultural differences, adaptations, and friendships that our storytellers are trying to convey. In past years, we were able to receive countless support from local businesses in the area, but in light of COVID-19 and the effect that it has on businesses, we would like to give back to the businesses that have given us so much. All the donation proceeds will be given to local businesses that have given to Nikkei Student Union at Cal Poly Pomona and their culture nights in the past in the Japanese American community. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Cal Poly Pomona Nikkei Student Union's 12th Annual Culture Night. On the behalf of our organization, I would like to thank each and every single one of our guests tonight for your support. I am deeply honored to be serving NSU this year as co-president alongside Brenda Kwong as we share tonight's show, Okairi. As someone who is welcomed to NSU as a non-Japanese American, acting in Culture Night my first year served as a gateway into long-lasting friendships and a deep appreciation for a Japanese American culture. The experience developed my passion for NSU and a drive to support a community that continues to show acceptance and kindness through their commitment to cultural education. It is through the sharing of culture that we can truly learn and appreciate all backgrounds and identities. Tonight is especially close to my heart due to the unique nature of our program. This past year, we've had to overcome many obstacles due to COVID-19. From cancellations to a transition online, many unique solutions had to be developed in order to continue to produce our show this year. This year's content would have to be created in a completely different way, purely online and utilizing the virtual tools available. It is because of this that I am especially proud of our Culture Night director, performers, and production crew for their hard work and dedicated efforts to bring the show to you in a brand new virtual format. I am deeply appreciative of our Culture Night director, Jeremy Javiana, for the passion and creativity she brought to the project. I'd also like to thank Kaylee Takata for overseeing the editing and production process and Hallie Powell for overseeing our advertisements and media. Lastly, I would like to thank the students who have dedicated their time and energy to showcase the talents and different aspects of Japanese culture through our production. Thank you, April and Kobe, for organizing the guest performances we will see you tonight. It is through late nights and tireless work that we're able to share Culture Night with everyone this year. In a time of unrest caused by COVID and pressures on the Asian American community, it is more important than ever that we come together as friends and family to appreciate and celebrate our identities, culture, and community. We hope you feel welcome tonight as we explore these themes and more through our 12th Annual Culture Night, Okairi. Thank you once again for joining us and I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Javiana and I am this year's Culture Night Coordinator. 
for Cal Poly Pomona's Nikkei Student Union. And it's my honor to present to you our 12th annual Culture Night Okairi. I first would like to thank everyone out here in the audience for all of their support into coming out into our show. Because of the global pandemic, it's been difficult in deciding on how to present a culture name, but with all the hard work of our members, we're able to produce the show you're about to see tonight. To set the stage, we meet Dan, a Cal Poly Pomona student who joins NSU to learn more about his culture, but it isn't until he meets Kitsune, an international student from Japan, to find out what he's missing. Not only does Dan help Kitsune get used to the American culture, but Dan is learning more about the Japanese culture he felt that was missing inside of him. Okairi translates to welcome home and is used as a greeting to welcome someone into the house. Not only is Kitsune being welcomed into his new home in America, but Dan is being welcomed into the culture that he's always wanted to learn about. As we all come from different backgrounds, we all should see each other for what brings us together rather than our differences. With the show you're going to see tonight, we also have a variety of performances with groups such as Tozan Taiko and Inner Essence Dance Company. We also have a variety of student performances submitted by our own general members. I am so thankful for all the performers who put in so much hard work and effort into making this show possible. From the committees to the actors and performers, they have done such an amazing job to produce our culture night. In the show, we have a donation option where all of our proceeds will go to small businesses and stop the Asian hate organizations. It's especially in these tough times where we wanna give back to the communities that helped us. With everything said, I present to you Cal Poly Pomona's 12th Annual Culture Night, Okairi. All right, everyone, that's it for today's meeting. If anyone needs a ride to the after event, please come to the front now. <sighs> Man, remember when I took you to your first after event? Yeah, I did. I thought I was going to die in that car, to be honest. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at yourself. You're still in one piece. I, I think you should be pretty thankful for that. I guess you're not wrong. I did have fun at my first after event. I remember everyone being really nice. I mean, you were so shy back then, dude. We kind of had to be nice to you. Bro, it was my first month in America. What did you expect? Eh, fair enough. But seriously, though, I can't believe it's already been a year. Yeah, time sure does fly. You're the VP of NSU now. Who would have seen that coming? Oh, shut up, Mr. Director of Cultural Affairs. Ew, don't call me that. What would you prefer to be called then? A weeb? Hey, stop that. I've only read... Never mind. You can call me anything but that, all right? Okay, all right then, Mr. Director of Cultural Affairs. Yeah? Hey, what's taking us so long? We're all waiting on you. <laughs> Sorry, we're leaving in a minute. Hey guys, welcome to Cal Poly Pomona, and this is our first general meeting for NSU. I'm your Vice President Tadashi, and we're going to start this meeting off with an icebreaker. So our icebreaker for today is going to be two truths and a lie. Find a partner and tell them two truths and one lie and try to guess their lie. All right, you guys got 10 minutes. Um, hey there, um, I'm Dan, nice to meet you. Oh, hello, I'm Kitsune. So um, are you a first year here? Yeah, I am, is it obvious? Well, I just haven't really seen you around here before, so I kind of assumed. Oh, I see. Uh, so did you want to do that icebreaker? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty down. Uh, I just got to think of some stuff first. Mm, it, it's harder than I thought. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I think I got some. I'll go first. So number one. I'm a mechanical engineering major. Number two, my main in Smash is Ike. And number three, I own a pair of Yeezys. Yeezys? That's got to be the lie. Damn, everybody out here thinking I'm some broke boy or something. Uh, no, uh, actually, the lie was that I'm a mechanical in engineering major. Uh, I'm actually a business major. And uh, fun fact, uh, I collect shoes as a hobby. So adding the Yeezys to my collection was kind of priority number one. Wow, I wish I owned a pair. Yeah, man. 
not gonna lie, it took me quite a few years to get that pair. Uh, anyways, it's your turn now. If you're ready, of course. No rush. All right, let me think. I got it. Uh, one time, I gear saw my lunch during a school field trip. I've been to an abandoned tunnel that was rumored to be haunted, and I've made handmade mochi before. Huh? Um, is it, uh, is it the deer stealing your lunch? Uh, nope. It was an abandoned school that was rumored to be haunted. What? What the heck? Oh, wh where did you do all of this stuff? What? I'm actually from Japan. I just moved here last month. Huh. That's, that's really cool, actually. And your English is really good. Thanks. I actually went to international school, so I learned my English there. Uh, that makes sense. Huh. It, um, it must be hard adjusting to everything here, huh? It was hard, but hopefully I'll get used to it eventually. Well, um, if you ever need any help, you, you can always count on me. Uh, I hope that's not weird or anything, you know, considering we just met. Yeah. Thanks. I didn't expect to meet new friends so quickly. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys all had fun during that icebreaker and were able to learn just a little bit more about each other. But now it's time for our after event. So if anyone needs a ride, please come to the front and we can work things out. Hey, Dan. You're giving us a ride to the after event, right? Yo, Tevin. You know you can't just barge in on Dan like that. But seriously, can you still give us a ride, Dan? Um. You know, Haru, you've been a pretty nice guy. You've been pretty nice to me today. I think, I think you're chill to come in the car, you know? It's a vibe. But Tevin, homie, that was a bit rude, you know? You came late and you just asked for a ride like that. I don't think, I don't think it's it. I think you're walking, my man. All right, I better get started going on that cold, dark sidewalk. All right, all right, Simp. Dude, you know, I'm just kidding. Just, just get over here. You're coming in the car. Everything's fine. Oh, and uh, guys, uh, this is Kitsune. Uh, I met him during the meeting. And Kitsune, this is Haru and Seven. Hello. Howdy. All right, guys. Um, we should probably get going uh, before people find out that I don't have a parking permit. You know, and they get fined. We, we, we gotta go, like, now. Uh, sure, but what's an after event? It's just the place we go to after the meeting to meet more people and hang out. All right, guys, we gotta go. Chop, chop. We gotta skedaddle. We gotta get out of here. We gotta eat ourselves.
Kitsune might want to hold on tight. He's stand up there. It's a terrible driver. Hey, you know, man, you can you can still walk on the sidewalk, you know? Still open. Man, I'm just giving our new friend here a word of warning. Anyway, Kitsune, you transferred here from Japan last month, right? Yeah, I thought I'd get out of my comfort zone, so I decided to go to Cal Poly, and it was really good for my major. Oh, uh, what's your major? Computer engineer. Huh, sweet. So, uh, what part of Japan are you originally from then? I'm from Tokyo. Huh. Have you been to anywhere else in Japan before? Yeah, I would travel to all the different prefectures every now and then. Oh. I haven't been to Shiba, though. That's my hometown. Wait, you used to live in Japan? Yeah, I used to live when I was a little kid, but then I moved to the state. But I do miss living next to Tokyo Disney. Wait, hold, hold up. So you're telling me Tokyo Disney is it in Tokyo? Oh, no, 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 my unlearned friend. Tokyo Disney is located in Shiba Prefecture, which is next to Tokyo. It's really only called Tokyo Disney because, for one, Tokyo is more popular, and two, it just sounds nicer. All right. Okay, smarty pants. What do you mean, man? I'm this cultured, and you're not. I think go to Japan every few years and thinks, you know, everything when it comes to Japanese culture. Oh, okay. I get it. I mean, I wouldn't say I know everything. It's more than Dan. But that's setting a pretty low bar. You know, man, I'm I'm sitting here, I'm I'm driving you guys to the after event, and it kind of hurts when you say that, man. You know, man, you didn't even know what the Shinkansen was before we met you. Uh, it's the bullet train, Dan. Yikes. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways, uh, Kitsune, um, how long are you staying here in America? Hopefully I can stay here until I graduate. And if I get lucky, I might land a job here too. Sounds like you have your whole life together already. I'm like uh, this guy. I wouldn't quite say I have my life together right now. I'm still adjusting to everything. You'll be fine, kids in it. Yeah, man, don't worry about it. We'll help you be the very best like no one ever was. Uh-huh, very original, Dan. Hey man, the message is still there. Dan's right. If you have any help with anything, just know you can count on us to get snip. Thanks. I didn't expect to meet so many new friends so quickly. Yeah, man. And you're gonna meet way more at the after event. So hold on tight. Dan, slow down. You guys weren't kidding about Dan's driving now. Oh god, I thought we were gonna die in that car. Even my internet is more stable than Dan's death trap. Um, you know, we're all still in one piece. We're still blessed with the gift that is life. I think you guys should all be thankful that we're here, you know? Oh, hey guys, glad to see you here. Oh, you must be new. I'm Tadashi, and as you saw during the meeting, I'm Vice President of NSU. Hello, I'm Kitsune. Yeah, actually, he just transferred here from Tokyo last month. Oh, you should meet our Director of Cultural Affairs, Yoshio. He studied abroad in Tokyo for a semester. Hey, Yoshio. Hey, man. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Kitsune, this is Yoshio. Like I said, he's our Director of Cultural Affairs. And Yoshio, this is Kitsune. He just came here last month from Tokyo. No way, that's sick. Kid today, right? Glad to see you join NSU. <laughs> Glad to be here, but can I ask, what does NSU even mean? Oh, of course. NSU stands for Nikkei Student Union. Nikkei means the center of Japan, while not necessarily of Japanese citizenship. So, if anyone has Japanese ancestry, that lives outside of Japan. And you don't have to be Japanese or Nikkei to join. Wow, that's really cool. Throughout the year, Yoshio will share some facts on Japanese and Japanese American culture. Well, I'm looking forward to them then. And also, if you have any questions about anything, always feel free to ask Yoshio or me anytime.
Well, will you guys go talk some more? You guys go out and have fun. Hope to see you guys at the next meeting. Peace out, homies. Wow, they're really cool people. Yep, that's our NSU board for you. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Kitsune, uh, me and the boys, we're hanging out this weekend. You, did you want to come with? Uh, sure, but where are we going? Hmm. What about we let you choose where we get to go, Kitsune, so you can explore more places here in the U.S.? Hmm... Well, there is this one place I've been meaning to try. You know, I didn't think that Kitsune would be so excited about this. Um, well, you know, if you've never been to one in America before, he sure looks really excited. Wow, everything is so much bigger here. Wow. You're really excited about that McDonald's, ain't you, Kitsune? Oh, we're just glad you're ba -da -ba -ba -ba. loving it. I feel like I could feed a whole family with this food, and this soda can last me for weeks. Oops. I should have shown you the sizes before you ordered them. Huh. Are the sizes really that much bigger here than in Japan? I'm pretty sure the medium drink here is larger than the large in Japan. Well, that's America for you. Huh. On that topic, just how different is the fast food here compared to in Japan? Well, if we're talking about portions, Japan's is really small. Also, in Japan, there are unique options that the states don't offer. Which I hate that they don't. Oh, really? What kind of options? Well, a lot of places offer more seafood options since seafood is much more cheaper there. Don't even get me started on the Kaiten Sushi. So, sushi what now? Uh, Kaiten Sushi. It's where the sushi is placed on a conveyor belt and we will just grab whichever plate we want. Oh, so, so it's kind of like a buffet? Uh, not necessarily. You still have to pay per plate and usually they're like 100 yen each. I think there's something in the States, but not as cheap, though. Oh, uh, you know, that reminds me. I think the last time I had sushi was, I think I had a California roll with my mom. Good time. Man, you know that's not real sushi, right? Hey, hey, man, you know, in my defense, uh, at least my mom had some raw salmon with it, so, so it's all good. Oh, hmm. When was this? Um, I think about a month ago. Uh, do you remember the name of the location? Um, no, I don't actually. Let me ask my mom. I think she'll know. Huh, that's, that's strange. Um, so my mom said she won't tell me where the place is until she gets to meet my new friend. Like, wait. Me? Oh, yo, what's up, Yoshio? Oh, hey guys. Sorry, did we interrupt something? Oh no, not at all. I was thinking some culture notes for our next meeting. Oh, dope. Which ones were you thinking about? Um, I was thinking about talking about a dance done in Japan called Saron Bushi. So the origin of this dance is that it was first sung by a fisherman in Hokkaido. These were chants that motivated fishermen to do their work. You should also mention that the dance is performed during Obon, which is a summer festival held to pay respect to our ancestors. Oh, you did Saron Bushi before? Yeah, I did. You did? That's pretty crazy. It was part of the curriculum, so I didn't have much of a choice to opt out. But I remember I fell on my butt one time during practice. It was pretty bad. Oh, is the dance really that difficult? I wouldn't quite say it's difficult. It's just very demanding with a lot of squatting. Let me show you what we mean. Oh, I want to see.
dude, you're going to be fine. I, I don't know what you're stressing about. I know, but I want to make a good first impression. Maybe I should have brought something. No, dude. No, there's no need for that. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. How old are you? You must be Kitsune. Ben has told me so much about you. I'm Ayaka, and I'm so glad you can find me. Yeah, Mom, uh, this is Kitsune. Uh, thank you for welcoming me to your home. Oh, no, you don't have to be so formal, please. Make yourself at home. Mm-hmm. So, Kitsune, Dan has told me here that you've only been in America for a few months. How do you like it so far? It was really hard at first, but thanks to Dan, I was able to meet a lot of new people, which helped a lot. Oh, that's so sweet of him. Kitsune, if you ever need anything, just know that you always have a place at home. Yeah, bro, definitely. And my mom makes the best rice balls. No cap. Well, <laughs> so Kitsune, may I ask about your name? Oh, yeah. My parents were really into folklore, so that's how I got my name. Wait, ho- hold up. What does folklore have to do with your name, homie? Well, uh, Kitsune is the Japanese word for fox, which is commonly used in Japanese folklore. Foxes are known to be sly, but also very wise. Ah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Kitsune is always full of that big brain energy. I'm just sharing what I know. I wouldn't call that big brain energy. I don't know, man. That sounds pretty five-head to me. Ah, man. It must be pretty nice having such great significance to your name. It was cool at first, but when I moved to America, a lot of people had a hard time pronouncing it. At least with an easy name like Dan, it'd be so much easier to pronounce. Don't worry too much, Kitsune. Once you get more used to things, your name will be the least of your worries. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Aika. It really helps. So, uh, now that you've met Kitsune, can you finally tell me where that sushi place was that we went to last month? Oh, why do you ask? Well, Tevin and Kitsune were kind of talking about sushi when we last hung out. And for our next hangout, we kind of wanted to get some. Ah, uh, why go out for sushi when you just hang out at the house? Just bring a guest and I'll provide everything you'll need. Wow, you're really enjoying that bubble, Kitsune. Man, I should have ordered the large. I'm guessing you're starting to get used to America, huh? Yeah, I am. I didn't think I'd get used to it so quickly. I'm glad you like it here. Hey. Haru, do you ever miss Japan? Well, sometimes I do. Even though I moved here when I was little, I still remember what it was like. Did you ever wish you could go back? Every now and then, but my parents still try to keep the Japanese culture at home, and by joining NSU, I feel like I never left. Yeah, I feel the same way. You know, NSU just had that type of effect. You start off feeling lonely, maybe even nervous, but then you start meeting more people. And you just feel more comfortable, if that made any sense. It does make sense. I've been feeling a little homesick lately, but then I hang out with you guys, and I just forget all about it. I'm really glad we met you, Kitsune. Don't tell Dan I told you this, but ever since you came, Dan has also been opening up as well. Really? How? Well, in the beginning, Dan wanted to know more about his culture, but he would always feel left out whenever Tev and I would talk about it, since I was born there. I read stuff from home, and since Tevin has been there practically so many times, he knows more than I do. But Dan, he knows some culture, but we do try to teach him, but he just thinks it's not enough. But what's the difference between me and you guys, though? Only Dan can answer that. Ever since you came, he's been more interested in learning about Japanese culture. Well, I really appreciate him helping me out, and if I could help him, it's the least I could do, you know? Hey, Dan. Thanks again for letting us hang out at your place, bro. Yeah, bro. Anytime. And thanks again, Mom, for letting us have our get-together at the house. Of course. No problem. As long as you guys are all having fun, you guys are always welcome here. So, I'm assuming you're getting more comfortable here, Kitsune? Yeah, I am. I'm really glad I joined NSU and met you guys along the way, too. 
Well, I'm glad you found us too. You're in for a real roller coaster ride when you hang out with us. All right, everyone. Here's the grill, and everyone just enjoy. Yo, Dan, your mom is the best. Hey, yo, dog. Remember, she's my mom, not your guys's. Well, she practically adopted all of us, so she's our mom too. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be everyone's mom here. Well, if you guys need anything, don't hesitate to ask. So, um, what are we making right now? Well, right now we're making okonomiyaki, my favorite. Yeah, uh, okonomiyaki is a savory pancake with vegetables, egg, and various types of meat. And we've got a variety of toppings that go along with it too, like okonomiyaki sauce, mayo, and bonito flakes. And Osaka is known for having the best okonomiyaki. And takoyaki. Even takoyaki? Yo, not gonna lie, I'm kind of a sucker for takoyaki. All right, while the food cooks, why don't we talk about other things? Well, this is gambling to try. What was the name of it again? Something Impact? Oh, Genshin Impact? Oh my gosh, here we go again. Oh, great. Now Timon's going to talk about his favorite gacha game and how all of his roles are trash. I didn't know gachas were so popular in America. Yeah, they've gotten pretty popular, but Japan sells more gacha gachas on the street than here. Gacha gachas? Um, yeah, gacha gachas, man. Gacha gacha are referred to the toy capsule machine around Japan. They're practically everywhere, from stores to train stations. Just eat on the streets. Yep, I would remember I would save my allowance to get this one specific keychain, but my nose end up broke and sad. Wow, just like Tevin. Hey, hey I am not broken sad. I get a five star eventually, as long as I have the money. Yeah, yeah, man. You can keep telling yourself that. Uh, what about you, Sadashi? What are some of your hobbies? Hmm, you know, I think it'd be better if I demonstrated it instead. Club and swap the hoes I came with. Shred up, shred up. Don't you come outside, we on that gang shit. Shred up, shred up. Had to switch my t shirt cause she stained it. Oh god. Had to buy a visa, she from Moscow. 21. Fucking around with Travis, you get crossed out. Crossed out. He used to be on that nigga off now. He off now. I didn't got so rich, I Saint Laurent, my dogs now. Shred up, shred up. Aaron's cost a quarter, certified by GIA. 21. If it's about my bay, about some smoke, I'm on my way. <laughs> really cool Adashi show is some of those cool moves. You know, I bet I could do that too. Uh, sure, Tevin. Whatever you say. So, anyways, Dan's gonna hate me right now, but forward applications are going out. Uh, no. Nah. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, homie. Uh, you gotta stop mentioning that to me. Oh, shut up with the excuses. We all know you want to apply. How come you haven't applied yet? I, I don't know. I just don't have the time for it, dude. That's all. I think you make a great board member, Dan. Really? You think so? 
well, you made me feel welcome, so you'd be great. Uh, dude, uh, I'm just I, was just, I was just doing what's right, you know? That's all. That's it. Just what a board member will do. Uh, um, <sighs> all right, fine. Now, how about this then? If I apply for board, then you have to apply. Yeah, not going to happen. I'm just saying, man. I would do it if you do. If it would mean you'd apply, then I'll think about it. You know, guys, I've said this before, but I just want to say it again. Thank you so much for everything. I knew that moving to America would be tough, but with you and everyone else, it just made things much easier. So thank you. Aw, Kitsune, that's so precious. <laughs> Look, I know we just met, but I won't doubt anyone. They try to make trouble with you. You know, you're in for a real ride with us, Kitsune. We got your back whenever you need us. Thanks, guys. I really mean it. Thank you. Oh, I gotta take this call. I'll see you guys later, okay? All right. See you, Kitsune. Bye. See you later, Kitsune. Hi, Mom. How's it going? You need to tell me something.
Hey, Tadashi. Oh, hey, Kitsune. Mind if I talk with you for a bit? Yeah, of course. Can I ask you a weird and random question? Sure. Depends on how weird and random it is. What's up? All right. Uh, how come you joined NSU and what made you run for board? Sorry if that question's a bit personal. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm more than happy to give you an answer. You see, when I first started college, it was hard to make friends just like everyone else. But then I met NSU. Even though I'm Japanese, I don't know that many Japanese people. But after being with NSU for a year, they made me so happy. And I just wanted to return that happiness to others who might feel the same way. That's a really great story, Tadashi. I wish I could run for board. What do you mean? I haven't told everyone, but I'm going back to Japan. What? What happened? Something happened with my parents' work, and it's going to be hard for them to support me here. I'm really devastated that I can't stay till I graduate. Well, if there's anything you need, you know we'll be here whenever you need us. We? I mean, as an NSU, we're all here for each other, and no matter what problem you're in, we'll do whatever we can to help you out.
So, you wanted to tell me something, Kitsune? Yeah, I do. Uh, I think I know what you're going to say already. Uh, I talked to Tevin and Haru about it. Wait, how do they know already? Beats me, man, but just know I'm ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to run for board, dude. I just finished my application with them. I can help you with yours, too. That's why you wanted to talk, right? That's not what I want to talk about, though. Oh, oh, it's fine. Uh, if it isn't about the application. That's my bad. Um, but I just want to say thanks, man, for, for running for board with me. It's going to be really fun when we both get Dan, I can't run for board. You, you what? I'm sorry, Dan. I thought we were going to be a team and everything, and you're just going to back out on me like that? It's not like that, Dan. It's just... What's happening? Oh, what's going on? It, it's nothing. Really, it's, it's nothing. It's not like that, Dan. I mean it. What is it, Kitsune? I have to go back to Japan. Wait, what? Something happened with my parents' work, and I can't afford to be here right now. Dan, I really wanted to run for board with you. I really do, but this is something I can't control. Dan, are you still mad? I don't know, man. I think we still need some time to process everything gets in there. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I can't believe he's going back to Japan already. I know, it's just so unfair. I wish Kitsune didn't have to leave. Yeah. I mean, I know it's unfair. And I feel terrible for yelling at him, but but there has to be some way we can help him, you know? I, I don't know. Do you have any ideas? No, man. I'm stuck. There's not really much we can do, though. Hey, not with that attitude. Dan, I know you're upset. We all are, too. Yelling isn't going to do anything for us. Hey, not doing anything isn't going to keep him here either. Then I, I think you need to calm down. Calm down at a, at a time like this? It's not like you guys don't even care that he's leaving. You don't mean that, Dan. Yeah, yeah you're right. I, I don't. Look, I'm sorry, man. It's just... It's just so hard that we can't do anything, you know? I don't know. Ever since Kitsune arrived, I, I felt like I could finally learn more about my culture. And now it's gone. What do you mean? Yeah, it's just something I've been insecure about. But I was able to learn more about my culture just by helping Kitsune out, you know? And when I try to learn from my mom, the most she does is make me Japanese food sometimes, but... When it comes to the tradition and the culture, I don't know. She just doesn't really like talking about it. But what was so different with me and Haru? You know you wanted to learn more, so what's so different about us? I don't know. It's just whenever you and Haru talk about Japan or the culture there, you guys just end up making fun of me because I don't know anything, you know? And, and I can't help but feel like a lost cause. Dan, sorry we made you feel that way. We didn't know, and if it means anything, we didn't mean it. It's, it's fine, really. I should have spoken out to you guys about this sooner. But right now, I'm just more worried about Kitsune. <laughs> you can't just give up. Remember what you told him? 
You told him you're gonna help him be the very best no one ever was. All right, all right, I get it. But just making myself clear, we are gonna find a way to help Kitsune stay here. Yep, definitely. Hey Dan, how was class today? Dan? It was fine. Dan, what is it? Dan? Kitsune is going back to Japan. What? Is everything okay? No, of course not. What happened? Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Dan, you can't tell me. Kitsune is having financial issues and he has to go back. Dan, are you okay? Why is it whenever I finally get to learn more about my culture, it just, it just has to end so soon? Where, where is this coming from, Dan? Look, Mom, I'm thankful for everything that you do for me. I really am, but whenever I ask you about our culture, you just give me the cold shoulder and try to change the subject. Is, is this really how you feel? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm so sorry, honey. I... I was only trying to protect you. From... from what, Mom? I... I didn't want you to go do what I had to. What do you mean? <sighs> Times were different back then, Dan. I was always treated differently by everyone around me. It wasn't until I went to school for the first time where I found out why. People would make fun of my name and would make jokes about me just because I was Japanese. I didn't want you to go through that pain, so I tried to raise you differently than my parents. But I, I didn't know I would end up hurting you in the end. Oh, Mom. I'm so sorry, Dan. I, I should have done better. From now on, we'll both get to know our culture together. Thanks, Mom. That, that really means a lot. But it still sucks that Kitsune is leaving. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, Kitsune is a computer engineer major, right? Uh, let me see if I can call a friend of mine to help him out. Oh, um, yeah. Hopefully they'll be able to help out. Yeah, just know, Dan, from now on, I'll always be there for you, for anything, no matter what. Hey, Kitsune, how are you doing? I am fine. Hey, are you okay? It's just, I feel kind of bad that I wrote this for nothing. What's that? It's nothing really important. Just my board application. I'm just gonna throw it away anyways. Wait, why are you throwing that away? Oh, I don't need it anymore. I have to go back home to Tokyo. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. I thought you were a good candidate for board too. Really? Of course. You definitely showed your love for NSU and for your friends. That's the type of people we would love to see on board. Thanks, Oshio. It's nice to know that. Even though it was cut short, I hope we made your stay here enjoyable. Definitely. It was thanks to everyone that made me feel at home. What's wrong? Well, when I tried to tell Dan and the others, they got a bit overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Then I got overwhelmed and I kind of ran away. You should try telling them again. Knowing them, they would definitely understand where you're coming from. They were probably just surprised at first, but they'll come around. All right, I'll go do that. Thanks, Yoshio. Anytime, Kitsune. 
come on, guys. There has to be some way we can raise money for Kitsune. Hmm. What if we do Omikuchi fortunes? Well, what's that? Omikuchi fortunes are Japanese fortune chump strips, and they can either have good fortunes on them or bad fortunes. And they're usually sold for between 100 to 300 yen. How would that make us any money? Well, for the bad luck fortunes, they have to get left behind. Because if you take them with you, that means you're also taking the bad luck with you. So we could only use bad luck fortunes and just reuse them. Problem solved. Wow, great idea, Tevin. Really? No. Hey, <laughs> I'm just saying what's on the top of my head right now. Um, what about a maid? No, 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 don't, don't even finish that sentence, homie. Uh, what about we do something at an after event? But what would we do? Wait a second. I think I got it. What about at an after event, we just sell something and try to raise money there? What would we sell though? Hmm. Okonomiyaki. Aw, that's so cute. So what would be our plan? All right, so we just have to process how much it would cost to make and the price we're selling it for. I know a market we can get some of the ingredients for wholesale. And if I tell them it's a fundraiser, I could probably get another discount. We'll have to run this through board first before we make any drastic actions. But other than that, I think we can pull this off. All right. As the business major, uh, I'll come up with the general layout of the fundraiser and uh, ask board for permission. All right. Operation Keep Kids in America, now in action. False friends are truly life's treasures. Sometimes they know us better than we know ourselves. With gentle honesty, they are there to guide and support us, to share our laughter and our tears. The presence reminds us that we are never really alone. And therefore, I am really grateful for the friends that I met throughout my life journey. We have experienced hangouts, laughter, tears, and everything in between. They really shaped me into a better person, the person that I want to be. And the respect that we have towards each other is indestructible. And I'll say thank you to my friends and the journey that we have experienced. Therefore, this video is dedicated to the friends that I have met along the way.
Um, hey guys, uh, I got some news. This is about Kitsune. Wait, how'd you know? He told me earlier this week. Yeah, he told me too. Oh, well, um, we uh we got a plan, and we were wondering if we could get it through board. Uh, you, you know, maybe ask the other general members uh, to help out too. Oh, what's your plan? Uh, we were wondering if we could have a fundraiser at an after event to help raise money for Kitsune today, potentially. Ooh, a fundraiser? This is a lot, man. I would continue to stay as much as the next person, but we don't have that much time. Now, wait a minute, Yoshio. Let's hear what he has to say first. All right. So the plan is we're going to have an Okonomiyaki fundraiser for an after event. As a business major, uh, I've already planned out the general idea of the fundraiser with, you know, the budget and the other details. All I need now is board's approval. Well, sounds like you got everything figured out. I think you should present this at tonight's meeting. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's meeting. And for our after event, we have some words from one of our general members, Dan. Hey, Dan, you got this. Just take deep breaths and let them know what's up, all right? All right. Thanks, Tadashi. Um, hey, everyone. Uh, if you didn't know who I was before, I'm Dan. So today's after event is going to be a little different. Um, we're we're going to have an Okonomiyaki fundraiser social to help out one of our members here. It'd be really great to see all of you there and also eat some amazing Okonomiyaki made by yours truly and board. I uh, hope to see you all there. Dan, that was great. Ooh, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, don't worry. You were fine. Oh, thanks, man. Hopefully we can get enough people to come out. Uh, we will. I'll see you at the after event. See ya. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Morisaki and today I will be making three different building creations for you guys. Uh, this was a talent that was taught to me by my father and I look forward to sharing some of this artwork with you guys. Uh, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. So the first creation we're going to start with today is this balloon volleyball. In order to make it, you're going to need three balloons. So our first step is going to be to tie all the tips of the balloons together. Like so. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to make two of them into a figure eight. Like so. But now that we have the two figure eights, we're going to stuff one of the figure eights into the other. With your third balloon, you're going to twist. ends are now separate. Finally, you're going to insert your lone balloon into one of the green loops. Next, you're going to want to tie these two together. So now that you've tied them together, you can begin to adjust it and hide the knots so that it becomes from this to this. All right, and there you have it, guys. That's how you make a balloon volleyball. Next up, we're going to be making two swans in a heart. So first off, we're going to start off with our swan. And to make that, you're going to be needing one balloon. So to start, we're going to be taking the knotted end of the balloon and bring it towards the tip. We're going to tie it around. So it looks like a tennis racket, and as you can see, this part is going to be the head, and this part's going to be the bottom. So next, we're going to bring it out and bring it together. It's going to leave us with a little mask of some sort, uh, and we're going to take one end and wrap it together like so. Now it's time for the head. So we're going to be taking the tip of the balloon and bringing it down. Next, we're going to give it a little squeeze 
and that's going to give us the shape. So we're going to bring that back, and we have our swan. Two swans. Now we're going to be making the base of the heart, and in order to do that, we're going to be just making another one of these flowers. We're going to start by taking the knotted end and making a small loop. Like so. And we're gonna do that about four times, four or five times more. Now we're going to be taking this pink balloon and attaching it to our flower. Now we're going to take one of our swans and thread that through to the bottom. Like so. Next we're going to take our other swan and thread it through the top. Tie off the tip of the pink balloon to the other color. And now we're going to be making our heart shape. And there you have it, guys. That is your two swans in a heart. For the last creation, we're going to be making one of these roses. So, in order to make this, you're going to need one of these red balloons with about eight fingers of tail. And you're also going to need one of these green ones for the stem. So, let's get started with our red. And here's our finished rose. So now we're going to take the stem and we're going to just make four petals. Now that we've got this then we're going to take the flower and put it on top. All right, and there is our rose. We're going to make one more of these and then we're going to wrap it up into a bouquet. Okay, we fast forwarded a little bit, but here is our finished product. This is a five rose bouquet. Yeah. Yeah, that wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Um, hey there, Kitsune. Oh, hey, Dan. Are you still mad? Oh, no, no, dude. No, I'm not. Look, I'm sorry I reacted the way I did, Kitsune. I was really upset, but... I shouldn't have taken it out on you like that. I understand. I'm pretty upset too. But I felt bad that I got you upset. No, no, really. It's not your fault, it's me. I'm just really gonna miss you. That's all. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. What do you mean? Well, everything's gonna be much different now. It gets harder to keep in touch with people once you've lost contact with them. Hey, don't say things like that, man. Whatever happens, we still got your back, Kitsune, even if you're a million miles away. And this isn't just for me either, but from everyone else too. Trust. Thanks, Dan. Hey, I want to give you this. Whoa, what's this? It's my board application. I know it's not much use now, but I want you to have it. It might help you when you run. Kitsune, I, I can't take this, man. It's fine, really. You should take it. I was just gonna throw it away anyways. I really wanted to run with you, Dan. It'd have been really fun to be on board with you. Yeah, it really would have. I believe in you, Dan. And if anyone can get on board, it's you. Oh, 
<laughs> Thanks, Kitsune. Anyways, I have to finish packing everything. It was great to finally clear things up with you before I leave. Yeah, yeah, this was good. Oh, um, by the way, do you know when you're leaving? Uh, not yet. Oh, do you do you even have a ride to the airport plan? Oh, I was just thinking of taking an Uber. Why do you ask? Oh, um, well, you see, me and the boys, we can take you instead if you'd like. That sounds great. All right, I better get going then. All right, just send me the deets. Hello? Yeah, it's Evan. Uh huh. Yeah, he agreed. Yeah, Operation Keep Kitchen in America is still a go. しかけた時優しく目を細めて笑ってくれた着信が怖くて一度も手なかったけど君からの電話嬉しかった私のことなんか忘れて幸せな日々を送ってねだけど毎年この日だけは5分だけ思い出してあどこかで人待っていたの全力で近づいてくる私を呼ぶ声 
Thanks for driving me to the airport, Dan. Oh, yeah, dude. It's the least I could do.、Uh, the others wanted to come along too, but they had something to do, so they couldn't make it this time. Oh, don't worry about it. Things happen. Uh, Dan, this doesn't look like the airport. What? What, what are you talking about? Oh, I get the confusion. Nah, dude, don't worry about it. It's, it's just a shortcut. We're here. Don't worry about it. Hurry up. They're almost here.、Uh, we're almost done. Can you please just place these over there? Where? Anywhere. Guys. Surprise! What's all this? Well, it was really hard on all of us to find out that you're leaving. So, we decided to raise this money for you. Guys, I can't take this. Nope, it's yours. No takes it, Bexies. I really appreciate this, but even with this money, It will be hard for me when the money runs out, guys. Oh my gosh, am I too late? Mom, Wh- what are you doing here? I have some news for you guys. So remember that friend I told you about, who might be able to help Kitsune? Yeah. Why? Well, I told him about Kitsune being a computer engineering major at Cal Poly and all. And when I told him about Him being in NSU, he was more than happy to let him join our team. What? That's that's awesome. Yeah, because my friend was the founder of their NSU at their school. Not only would they let Kitsune work at their company, but they're even willing to sponsor him. I I I can't believe this. Now you're stuck with us, Kitsune. Whether you like it or not. And we better see you at your board interview next week, Kitsune. Wait, I didn't turn in an application. You didn't have to. They turned one in for you. I I don't know what to say. Welcome home, Kitsune. Sure brings back memories. Yep, it sure does. Wow, you guys did great out there. We couldn't have done it without our amazing mentors. Oh, don't say that. We're always here to help. Hey, are you guys talking without us? Uh, no. Oh. Are we talking about how at first Tevin went to a maid? Wait, no, 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 no. We are not going to talk about that. Anything but that. Were we about to say a maid cafe? You do not need to know kids' name. Seriously. I think I kind of do. Anyways, before I forget, these meals aren't me, guys. I just got my salary. Oh, pizza day! You really didn't have to. Hmm. It's, it's rude. So, how do you guys feel with this being your first after event on board? It doesn't really feel that different. Although it is nice seeing new faces around here. 
Yeah, let's go talk to them right now. Oh, hey there. Oh, hello. Are you new here? Oh yeah, I am. Hmm. So, uh, how did you find NSU? Oh, I just thought it'd be a great way to find new friends. Well, you've come to the right place. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you we find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two, you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah And you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much really means to me Every day I will remind you Find out what we're made of we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you like four, three, two You'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah
ました。ここで